Local businesses have to once again wonder how they'll be impacted. Many are still feeling the original effects of the pandemic, and for some, that includes a worker shortage. At one popular chain of restaurants in South Florida, not enough workers means robots are now on duty. Let's find out more about that by going live to Kendall, where CBS4's Joel Waldman is live tonight. Joel. Lauren and Elliot, good evening to you. That is correct. There are robots working inside of Sergio's family restaurant. The owner and CEO tells us he simply cannot find enough workers. And now with the Delta variant emerging, things are only getting worse. He's graceful, reliable, and more than willing to work overtime. It's so cool. I was like so surprised. It's really cool. Astro slick moves impressing diners at Sergio's family restaurant. I've never seen anything like that before. I honestly it surprised me when it passed by my side. But this robot only has a job because humans don't want it. Carlos Gazatua, Sergio's CEO, tells us two of 13 locations remain closed because of a worker shortage that began after COVID reemergence continuing to this day. Unfortunately, we can't service the entire restaurant. So 30% of our restaurants, dining rooms are closed because we just don't have the staffing to fulfill the demand. At first, Carlos tells us workers were scared to come in. Now with the Delta variant rearing its ugly head, people are once again skittish. We saw that every month was a new drama, was a new crisis. It, it, it was one step forward, two steps back, and it looks like this is a perfect example of that, the Delta variant. Nerves remain frayed, especially when you consider the White House just announced one-third of all U.S. COVID-19 cases reported in the past week were in just two states. Texas and here in Florida. People are very scared about everything that is happening, so I, I understand. But there's no need to fear the measures New York City plans to take with its so called vaccine passport to get into restaurants, gyms, and entertainment venues, says the general counsel for the Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association. It is against the law in the state of Florida, and the governor has stated firmly that he will not change his position on that, so we do not expect to see uh, vaccination passport requirements for customers. The general counsel also adding she does not anticipate any more shutdowns, giving hope, despite Astro's coolness, that more humans will soon be back working and dining out. Now, Sergio's has six robots in total because of the worker shortage. They say they have plans to increase that number, but those six alone over the last 30 days have covered more than 1.8 million feet. Reporting live from Kendall, Joel Waldman, CBS 4 News.